You're watching Jim with some Total Nerdery channel, and we're back into From the Depth for some, <clears throat> well, missile nerdery. And thanks a lot to a lot of you in the comment sections for giving awesome suggestions and uh, stuff like that that I can try out. <laughs> it's uh, very helpful. Uh, most notably, of course, uh, Nyko Pens, who has done a lot of testing uh, after the videos and came back to some results, which uh, means that some of the trash ideas I have um, we don't need to test because they have already been tested, but I have created something that kind of works uh, without having um, Well on my own. This was my own idea. Isn't that amazing? Um, not very Jimonism. Come on. It's uh, it's uh, basic stuff but anyways, this is huge missiles that fires torpedoes. So this thing is absolutely only usable against, well, um, it's only usable against ships. We can't use it to anything else, to be honest. But I'm still kind of happy about it. So we're going to follow some of these missiles. And we are then... Are these missile friends... Gone stray? Oh no, I think they have. Anyways, um, I'm very happy with this kind of setup here. And there we see. You can see it drops them like a rain, like this. It's very cool. Then we do a little explosive damage like that. Very nice. It's down uh, with uh, three percentages. Very nice, Jimodism. Speed up a little bit until you can see here. This is this is kind of the scary moment when they all just go up like that. So they hit the bottom, they get the direction, and then they kind of get activated to just swarm the enemy, and uh, they're absolutely devastating. Um, they can go through basically anything. I just uh, made it so they have a kind of ballast tank and they just kind of sit under the water and then they just launch themselves to the enemy. And since a lot of them go through, um, we then get this kind of rain of bomb-ish things as well. So that's pretty dope. You can see. Um, is it? What? What? Why can't I see? Is it dead? It doesn't look dead. Oh, well, now it's dead. Apparently it died. So it's pretty efficient. We could take uh, out this uh, crossbones with one volley, which isn't super impress impressive. And uh, since it's basically one of the biggest ships I've found, I haven't looked them out uh, too carefully, but the stronghold is a strong boy. Well, as I said, it's a strong boy, this stronghold. So I like to use it a lot. And of course, um, we are still alive, yeah. Uh, I'm using it for testing a lot, because <laughs> I'm, I'm desperately trying to one-shot this damn ship in one volley, because I can't do it in one missile, I can't do it in one cram, and damn it, we're gonna one-shot it somehow. Anyways, you can see, the payload gets dropped like this, and well, then, then we just slow down time. Because this is kind of cool. And it goes so damn fast too. These are fast torpedoes. And they just go through like that. Pretty impressive. And here we have the second volley going on here. They get activated. They got a new aim point. And they just head straight for it. Mmm. The, the damage. It didn't go, go completely through. When they all focus on the same spot, they will go through this thing, of course. Uh, but uh, I kind of made it so that the missiles come in with a little delay. So that they do, well, deal damage at different spots. Because this this thing is kind of strong. So this volley can actually like one-shot this thing if we're lucky. Um, which we're usually not. But... Um, if we would manually aim the missile at the AI, we would probably, fairly reasonably, be able 
to just one shot it by going straight through. God, I just I just like the interiors of this thing. It's just so nice. It's spilled wine. I didn't notice that spilled wine before. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it! Now I feel bad for killing this poor thing with the nice pets and everything. Anyways, <coughs> let's continue. Yeah. Uh, we don't need to watch this in slow motion, oh my god, we need to speed this thing up here. So that's what they do, they do a little mini explosive damage uh, if they get there, if they don't get shot, like damaged. And then we just drop the payloads like this. Boom, 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 boom. And some went through because we didn't hit uh, at the dead center. Now they decide to aim there. And that's how we do it. And there are apparently a few that actually got through. Who knows? Weird thing. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. Will we be able to take this thing out? Uh, I, I, God, I'm, I'm sorry about my cram testing video. It's, <laughs> it's like an hour and forty minutes. I try to not make these testing videos too long. Uh, it's just that uh, I get caught up in the moment, and it's just fun to test and record and do that stuff. So. Oh damn, but the cram cannon, I know it's like 1 hour and 40 minutes, but it was basically me sitting for an entire day um, building that turret, because I wanted, I don't know, I should have just restarted the build somewhere, because um, it wasn't too well thought out. They have some APN, but sometimes they just flatly miss. They have a long activation delay, so we actually get a good charge. But unfortunately, uh, because the AI is being a little bit retardos, it uh, wants to aim to the sides of this ship. And uh, this ship wants us to aim for the sides. And of course, we do absolutely destroy the sides like that. But it's only when we get some of these, you know, hits, some of these hits that go straight through, that we actually have a good chance to deal some serious damage. So what are we? 85%. Um, this should take out it in the next volley just because it will sink and go below 80. That's like the rules. But don't, don't you think this is cool? They just go straight down. They are dropping. They're sitting at the bottom. The activation uh, delay uh, does, does so that they get activated. Then they chill a little bit and just speed up and just uh, do some damage. Can I? No, never mind. I wanted to see if I could aim the lasers myself, but I couldn't. Yeah, but that's the thing too, and I loaded them with some EMP as well, because some sometimes we actually, you know, take out some proper uh, targets. Okay, so 81%. Uh, okay, probably one volley more than it just survived. And if you want to look at this little thing here, uh, it has a torpedo propeller. One fin, cluster ejector, ballast tank, uh, EMP, explosive, frag, laser designator, and uh, it basically it doesn't need a one turn, it just faces the enemy, uh, I guess, by the fins or something, I don't really know, uh, when the activation delay takes place. So it's, it kind of works. Anyways. Okay, let's... Let's watch, watch this volley here. It went through, didn't it? Oh, that's a good hit, though. We kind of shifted the targets halfway. But you can see this, this volley is designed to just shred the undersides of uh, ships. Okay, uh, sorry. Three extra minutes just to prove that I could kill this uh, thing. Petty. Very petty. Uh, but uh, that's how it is today. So, uh, anyways, uh, to mention pens again, um, I got these really nice uh, tips that I re I didn't really know about actually. And here you can see I just this is the same kind of base I just uh, I was just you know being lazy. And I just uh, I didn't remove them. The these are kind of dead meat; they're not connected. Uh, these are the real deal, however. Now we need to go down a bit so we don't blow the engines. But apparently, um, the 
not only the range of the magnets, but also kind of the speed of the magnets because they accelerate more, is like better the larger uh, the mines are. So here we kind of have a mine that's just an EMP, an explosive, a mine, and a cluster ejector. Uh, these are huge mines. Each missile can carry two of these, so this is actually double than I need, because I <laughs> I, <clears throat> I did some miserable calculations and kind of, wait, isn't this double? And I was like, oh wait, oh, well, whatever. Um, but yeah, the <clears throat> these uh, throws mines at the enemy. And the nice thing with, with throwing mines at the enemies is that these huge mines, they do uh, a lot of damage, and they also get to the target more quickly. Because they're larger, uh, the mines have a higher acceleration and uh, stuff like that, so it just works. And, oh, come on. Did I even drop those mines? What's up with this thing, though? I messed something up. One second. Oh, I forgot god mood. I simply died. There we go again. Spare repairing this thing. So we died, so the mines couldn't be teleported to the missile. Because um, if you missed all my other cluster tutorials and videos, uh, it's basically the case that... Why am I not targeting the enemy? Is it so that... Did I accidentally take control over this thing? Maybe I did. Um, anyways, what I was going to say is that... Um, you can see, they, not, they drift against the enemy and they deal some serious damage going on there. Um, but anyways, uh, when we carry things from, uh, like, to a target uh, with a cluster missile, we don't actually have the missiles on board. No. Uh, when we are releasing the missiles from the carrier missiles, they're actually teleported from the base to the missile. So because we got destroyed, uh, the missiles that we wanted to teleport here just got removed, so they couldn't teleport, you know. Makes sense. And here you can see, it just drops here. It drops the bombs underneath, and the magnets get activated, and they are fairly strong with attracting to the enemy. Because the huge magnets are huge, and uh, yeah, it's not so complex. Imagining these being a huge ne neodymium magnet that's just to against the enemy. So, uh, of course, we need to spawn a stronghold to this thing as well. And it also always lags when I spawn the stronghold, and that makes a lot of sense. Anyways, um, we'll need to wait for reload, yeah? It's kind of funny, but the flight time of these huge missiles are kind of slow, so one minute apart doesn't feel very much. Zoop. And now you can see it's running away, but the huge magnets, they, uh, they're actually decently quick. And they can sit here for a long time, because they have a slow despawning time, because they're huge. So uh, we can deal some proper damage on these things, and... Oops, if I remember th things correctly, I set the um, warhead arming delay to a little bit as well. So that they kind of... Um, they don't do that, but they're supposed to clang against the enemy and kind of uh, explode all at the same time. They never do, however, but, well, I like the idea of it. So, yeah, it, they're probably not... Uh, like, my... My underside of the uh, um, my underside devastator, my uh, what is it called? It's not the underside of the ship. It's not the keel because the keel is only in the middle. Oh, that's a good hit though. That's a really good hit. Wow. I think that was something important though. Aww, poor thing. I think we nuked the AI. So anyways, uh, that was what I wanted to show you. Uh, with these kind of magnet mines, we can sometimes get a huge thing right under it with EMP. And when we do that, we can fry the AI. 
And my other torpedo swarm setup just shreds the ships from underneath and they kind of have weak armor there because they don't really expect to get filled with frags and EMP from underneath. So we kind of avoid all these uh, different types of uh, EMP avoidance things uh, or surges and stuff like that. Is this like heart blocks, I think? Oh. Anyways, uh, that was these two things I wanted to show you. So, <laughs> awesome idea from Nyko there to have like uh, big, uh, big, no, huge, huge mines. Uh, huge and large, because they're just so much faster and so much more likely to hit the enemy. Uh, and kind of, uh, of course, we can't, we can't hit fast ships. We really can't. But we can hit moderately fast ships, um, like with like small and medium mines. If the ship is like moving five meters per second, it can probably maybe outrun them if we don't uh, hit them very accurately. Anyways, uh, that was basically that. Uh, the thing that I kind of want to do is actually to make a huge missile system that's actually worth its while. And I feel like this platform I built for myself here is uh, it's pretty decent, I think. I think it's pretty nice. It, uh, it just works well. So uh, we are going to develop this little thing here. And before, I thought that I could have a um, huge thumpers with large thumpers carrying m medium thumpers um, carrying... No, no, no. A, a huge, a huge missile with uh, probably no nothing on it, carrying a huge thumper, which is carrying large thumper, which is carrying medium thumpers, which is carrying small thumpers. That was the idea. But uh, I thought that cluster extensions could possibly be exchanged for um, these reinforced bodies, uh, but they can't. Well, you can see, we can see, if you look on the right, uh, we can see the damage types there, and we have something called under firepower, impact damage. So if we add another one, you can see the impact damage just goes up a lot. And uh, basically, the cluster extensions, they offer a lot of, uh, uh, they offer a lot of health kind of halt the health to reinforce bodies, but you don't really offer any damage. So we can't we can't have thumpers within thumpers within thumpers ad infinitum and do a lot of damage. And small thumpers in general are just not worth it because they don't do enough damage. So this uh, this was some uh, this that was some data that uh, uh, he basically told me that uh, well you can do what you want to do, but it won't be good because I already tried it and I was like, oh, damn. Now we have to do something else. So anyways, uh, the thought is that uh, we can divide up this little cluster controller and have several controllers in here um, so that we can launch two different types of uh, missiles. And since I w won't do my uh, weird thumper setup, uh, I have a kind of other little idea that I will share with you right now when I'm looking at my little uh, note block here. So I want to have a... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I want this huge missile to produce a continuous swarm of medium missiles. And I want these medium missiles to be... Um, basically enough of them so that they can actually reload um, yeah, so they, they can reload and just continuously fire, which would be kind of cool. Uh, so that's the idea. And the, I want to have a continuous swarm of frag medium missiles that just goes uh, against the enemy. Not in like super high speed, but just a nice guided frag uh, missile that just goes to the enemy and destroys it. Probably with some... Uh, APN or no, we'll see how we set it up. And maybe I also want uh, EMP explosive uh, missiles doing the same thing, just continuous fire, so we might have two types. Right, and uh, I kinda also want, uh, I want to have a small, a small, huge, or possibly a, a large 
some large thumpers um, that also hit the enemy when we get kind of close. So I'll see if I can fit this in this current body. That would be kind of cool. I have a missile that I think will be a good continuous uh, uh, fire missile. It lives for 20 seconds. It uh, thrusts for uh, 20 seconds. I never actually calculated this before, got a, but I got my calculator and uh, because I, I, I expected this, but I didn't know it really, so I just checked. And if you have the missile being slower, um, being basically have the thruster thrust as long as the missile lives, you can cover like uh, al almost double the distance from what you can if you put it to more like max speed, because you will get faster, but uh, the thrust lifetime will be... Uh, shorter so you need more fuel but for the same fuel we can get further if we kind of uh, take it a little bit slow um, did expect it but now I actually know it because <clears throat> I brought out my calculator good job Jimonism I still have this it's like a super advanced calculator and it's kind of cool it's it can do derivates and all cool uh, types of stuff uh, which I really don't really know how to do anymore or I guess I know how to do it if I uh, really try to focus on it but uh, I haven't used it for a long time um, but it knows math more than me anyways right so now we're going to try and set up this little missile here I just replaced stuff with reinforced bodies uh, because apparently we can use fuel tanks as dividers between the different cluster controllers uh, another tip from Nyko cool <laughs> didn't know that so basically, if we have a cluster controller here, we'll set them up later, we can see that we can now have uh, two meters. Uh, so we can have the cluster extension, it now lets us have stuff of uh, with a length of four meters. Very nice. So let's see how many missiles could we indeed... Um, because we are going to have many missiles at the home base and they will just continuously teleport uh, against the target all the time. So we probably can get away with a like minimum compartment and we'll just make them uh, reload all the time, uh, basically. Um, so here we have a minimum compartment, that's mighty fine. So we can then put one fuel tank there. Uh, so now we have four meters. And now we basically need to think about how large the thumpers will be. And... <laughs> God damn it. Nike, you have, you have written some really uh, good, helpful comments. Uh, they're like super long. So um, if you want to have some good tips, look, uh, look at my recent videos and just read his comments and you will learn something new, I bet. Uh, but anyways, I think that uh, we, we we will need a new fuel fuel tank, of course. Um, I think we it will suffice with us having two compartments. So I think I can put the other fuel tank here in the front. Uh, so now we have thrust duration of 33 seconds. Should be good enough. Um, I kind of like the setup we had. It's pretty good, uh, I think. So it should probably work like that. Um, I want to have frag to not blow up the incoming missiles. So I have a sharper frag cone, so possibly because it's huge, we can like destroy everything uh, in front of us in a 30 degree, uh, who knows. Yeah, which means that we can set up this other uh, cluster controller. And since this is two meters per module, this means that it's another four meters, uh, six, eight, ten, twelve. So we have twelve meters of space. Um, the thumpers will not be a. Oh, we will not be able to get the thumpers to uh, like continuous despawn. So. We're probably going to have 6 or 12 meter thumpers going on here. So I'm thinking like 12 meter large thumpers or 6 meter huge thumpers, if we can even fit that, I don't know. Um, we'll see how we'll set it up, but I think it could be kind of interesting. We'll see. I'm going to check the values later on. So of course, this thing should of course... Uh, well, they need to be something like this. 
Oh, distance to target. I don't know. We'll set it up to 500 meters uh, right now. Uh, and we're going to set up this other cluster controller to basically set it to distance to target is 1000 max because our missiles can actually travel more than 1000 meters. Uh, this is a little bit weird because, you know, um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, time. Now I should I should think loudly so you can actually understand me. So basically, uh, I calculated the speed of uh, or how long our missiles can go here. Um, but we want them to survive 20 seconds though. So because we have laser designator, they will continue to hit the enemy um, kind of well. They rarely stray off. We could change this to radars and just have APN guidance as well. But then we'll have a weaker payload or uh, worse maneuverability. So we'll see about that. But yeah, let's let's go with this for the meanwhile. Uh, since we have a lot of... Uh, I changed my mind. Let's boost up the thrust to... So they at least... 15 seconds, they should be able to hit it and do another return. We'll see. Okay, so... How big are these? Container links required eight. And these are too few components to make a good thumper, I believe. Uh, so if we just increase that a little bit, is this the wrong direction? Not connected to a missile controller. Okay, that explains it. And I do actually believe that I got a good tip from depends there again on how big we should actually, or how many uh, cluster uh, things we should actually have. Not cluster, what am I talking about? <laughs> how many... Uh... God, now I'm just rambling. How many reinforced bodies we should have to do optimal damage with this thing? That was what I was trying to sell you. Uh, so I'm just gonna check that and fix this up a little bit quickly. And I'll be back, because now I'm just rambling. I need to drink more of my energy drink, that's clear. All right, I checked some stuff there, and basically, um, I got this recommendation from Laika to have like three reinforced bodies, uh, but I can't fit that in my 12 meters, so two reinforced bodies would be uh, enough, because we can only fit a short-range thruster, a fuel tank, a cluster ejector, Two reinforced bodies and the thumper head, so it's completely unguided. <clears throat> and this uh, poses a little bit of a problem because uh, if we can't if we can't aim towards the target in any type of way, I'm not sure we can drop it so far away from the craft that we actually get to reach max speed, uh, which is definitely a problem. problem. And five seconds is definitely excessive since we do 400 meters uh, per second. And we won't be, I mean, this is, too, this is too far. We can use the internal space for reinforcement, I think. 2.8 seconds is probably uh, more than enough. And then we'll have uh, <clears throat> three seconds to the target. So we could spawn this, time. We, we could actually spawn this, like, a long, a long, like, <laughs> 1.2 kilometers away. <clears throat> but then we can steer. Uh, so possibly we could use the internal for fuel and have another reinforced body here. Then we have two seconds. That should be enough though. Let me just check. Uh, yeah, the damage is much more if we have here. And then we might even see if we can squeeze in some kind of guidance if we really have to. Uh, if we have to, it will be really sad. Guidance activation delay. I don't know. Yeah looks super, super nice and I want a cool custom color for this I want it to be dark gray and a little bit evil like that very nice okay so cluster controller this cluster controller distance from target 500 should be good enough uh, right and this one is set up to thousand Drop stagger, yeah, we should have a drop stagger of like, we should have a small drop stagger. 
And I think that we won't be able to... I think we'll need more missiles, to be honest, because we have four of these. So, while I'm not sure, it's a tad bit boring to not have enough missiles. So, it's better to have more than enough missiles. Is it just me, or is the engine ticking down slowly? I think it is. Uh, let me save this fortress a little bit, so we don't blow up when adding more missiles. Very lovely, these beautiful engines work absolutely fine underwater, because of course they are, why wouldn't they? Let's get our prefab mode, and copy this thing, yay, copying tools. From the depth, copying tool is kinda shit compared to other games, but uh, I'm very happy it exists, because even though it's not the best, it saves it still saves, saves like enormous amounts of time. Okay. Maybe like this. That should be enough, right? And now we need to quickly fill up some materials here before anything blows up. Spam! There is a faster way to do it though, but I didn't. Okay, everything seems to be set up pretty nicely. Uh, so let's make the AI do the stuff. Let's save this thing as huge missiles mines. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't want to save the mine one. I want to. I want to save my uh, thing that shoots uh, shreds hulls from beneath because that's cool. I like that. Uh, but this one we don't need to save. Okay. Stop having. I'm sure. I'm sure you will lag if I keep this like turned on. Let me switch to normal block. Let's switch to this mood. See wherever are we looking, and okay. Let's let's just spawn across bones to begin with to see if we are uh, even remotely doing this. So up to test. This is kind of a little bit too exciting. There we go. I'm not releasing any. Oh, wait. That's weird, though. Hmm. That is releasing. Oh, I forgot to copy. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> it was not set up correctly in any way. Because here we can see this is the old one. This is the new one. Copy to existing launch pads like that. And please just refill materials. Yeah, so that explains. A missile has been launched. Another one. What are you? You are the frag ones, right? Yeah, you do some frag damage there. Now, I think they... Fail to update somehow. You can see they kind of... Uh, when we have laser guidance, we don't really need APN. Um... I definitely messed up something with the thumpers, that's for sure. I think one thing I messed up was the cluster controller here. <clears throat> that they selected uh, small missiles before. So I set this up to uh, two levels below. So huge to medium. Um, and that's okay. Um, and I reserved this space to be huge to huge only, right? And that should possibly solve the problems. Who knows? And we can also see here distance to target 500. Maybe we can increase it a little bit. Uh, and this one we set to release after flight time, five seconds. So it's actually now like beginning to release continuously and I up the drop stagger a little bit. So hopefully that works. Let me just check. Nice. 
Possibly it will work now. We never know. But uh, it's worth a try. So it's probably a good idea to spawn uh, the stronghold from the beginning here. Because we do deal a lot of damage. So hopefully we'll be able to launch all the missiles there. Okay, good. After five seconds we begin the release of frags, but it seems that they are not capable of reloading just yet, so we definitely need more of them. Um, hopefully. Oh yes. I wanna see this though. We only carried one. Oh yeah, we only carry one. That's how they work. Never mind. We'll watch the next missile. There we see. No, it <laughs> Oh, that did that did some good damage though. Ooh, that did some good damage too. I kind of like the huge thumpers. They're kind of cool. Yeah, well, uh, we miss a little too often, but yeah, well, I think it's cool. So, of course, I have too many of these. Of course, um, we can only carry one per missile. And they won't be able to, like, reload. Uh, because it has... I think it has to be the same block that kind of reloads. Let us watch here, actually, what happens. If they get depleted or not. What What is happening? We're just watching these missiles. You can just stop shooting so we can get some peace of mind here. Okay, there we got the thumper. And I'm also, I'm kind of thinking that the reload time of uh, the medium missiles is just a little bit too slow to offer a continuous stream. It does feel a little bit like it. Anyways, what if we do like this? We set it to this cluster control release after flight time, set it to like 2 two seconds instead so it really you know starts releasing all right how are we doing mate okay now launch and they are starting to go towards the enemy that's good so how does it look here now it's like there's like only a few of them missing, right? Here and there. Damn. It seems that... I think the drop stagger is a problem. Because it kind of makes the reload... Uh, if they reload all together at the same time... Um, Right, like that. Drop stagger. Absolutely zero. So maybe we can get like two volleys of missiles going on there. I don't know. Possibly. And here we go. Six seconds. How much damage has you taken over there? 80%. I think we can save you a little bit, right? You can see it's it's continu it's firing a few missiles there. But it's not... We have so many missiles. More than we need. So of course they don't want to take other ones. But the reload is just... Too slow. Yeah, we can't get, an we can't get away another volley. So the reload speed time of these is 20 seconds so maybe if we fly towards hmm maybe we need just a larger compartment for these and it could possibly deal some damage by having a much larger compartment uh, we can release really stagger them a little bit and they get a better chance of actually you know dealing some damage oof Oof. And the thumpers do a lot of damage. They really do. Yeah. 
Yeah. I kind of like the thumpers, but I'm not sure we can actually keep them on uh, on this structure. Because this structure just heavily relies on us having continuously firing uh, these things. And uh, I don't think we can really combine them like this. Uh, we probably need to have it like separate systems, to be honest. Alright, so I basically removed <laughs> the, uh, the big thumpers going on here. They do a lot of damage. It's not a bad system. It's just that uh, they take too much space, so we can't have our stream. We set up a drop stagger and we set up all the space to uh, store medium missiles. So hopefully it will be enough. Okay. If we can just watch this thing. Here we can see, now we can carry a lot of medium missiles going on there. Of course, it's not a continuous swarm. Because the reload speed is too slow. So we could possibly... <sighs> do a bad quick fix and set up the drop stagger to be... <laughs> ah, we couldn't spawn none anymore. We can set up the drop stagger to be slower uh, and in that case we can have it continuously. But of course uh, that doesn't feel like a super cool fix either, does it? Well, now we're just checking the missiles here and see when we launch them. See how many... Okay, there we go. Pop it up, pop up. They're set up with the 0 0.2 seconds delay. Here we can see. They are going like that. Continuously teleporting over. That's great. And now they are getting reloaded a little bit. Will they be able to fire again? Nah. Perhaps not. Huh. We're gonna follow the missiles uh, with the next launch. There we go. Next launch. Oh, come on. What am I? No. Come on. Erg, thank you. That's the wrong missile, though. <laughs> come on. Okay, there we go. So we are we are releasing a swarm of missiles for a long while, I must say. But our compartment is not large enough for it to be uh, continuous. But I feel that this is a good way to deal damage, though. It's AI dead. We can't repair it. Of course, we took some damage from all sorts of stuff uh, since before. You know what? Uh, we're kind of Oh no, I'm not very smart. Not very smart at all. So, um, we need of course to drag down our thrust duration to as slow as the missile. You know. We wanna make it slower. Of course we are. Thrust output. We want it to be real slow. Of course we want it to be real slow. How did I not think of this? Um, yeah. This means, of course, that we'll get a lot more time to actually spawn them. We can have a ramp up time of like, oh, dinosaur, 10 seconds. Make it a little faster so it thrusts for so long it survives. Copy to all matching launch pads. Great, awesome, okay. Now they might be able to reload uh, in between. Will be interesting. Okay. 10 seconds. Alright, we're ready to launch. Now. Oh, right. It got destroyed. So, uh, we spawn it kind of far away so that we hopefully are able to shoot at it. Okay. Oh no. Okay, so there they are. I'm gonna follow you. No. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we're out of ammo. Um, 
I don't remember. Do we get any stats from this? We don't. Yeah, we can have the cinematic cool look. So we're just casually flying towards the enemy, and soon we should be able to begin our next launch, right? 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 Maybe we actually need to make the stagger a lot slower. Uh, no, it doesn't! Was it... S did it take that long? Don't tell me they removed. It should be able to reload, right? And fire again. Huh. Welp. Alright. So it's firing a new missile every half second. And it will be very interesting to see. It's of course super slow. But they're kind of creeping out of there. It's like they're wiggling out. <laughs> yeah, because the base construct is just so slow. And uh, it's slowly but surely tearing away its health. And you can see here, it now it takes a lot longer to like drop all of these, but will there even be a delay or will they actually be a continuous swarm? Because if we can tweak it to a reliable system, I think, no, no more ammo, no reload, nope. If it's even possible, 20 seconds of flight time is kind of long. Uh, for small missiles, this would be easier to do, but then we want to do a lot of damage, which is mainly the big thing we want to do here, do a lot of damage. So how is the missiles looking here? They are getting plopped out. Dut, 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 dut. In a continuous swarm like that. And optimally, these should be depleted and reloaded in about the kind of same way or same uh, speed. Uh, if they're not, we probably need to increase the size of the uh, cluster container. Oh, no. Just so many. I might need to turn off the enemy AI. But now we get the new launch, so that's kind of the annoying thing. I don't. I don't know if it's like too far away. It might be. Cluster controller, cluster extender. By the way, if we turn the AI thing, no, it will still shoot at us. Annoying. And they just do a swarm there, yeah. So if we increase this container further, um, we might not be very, like, efficient anymore. Huh. Do you look what I see here? Do you see? It's spawning and then getting away again. That's amazing. It means... <laughs> they just flicker a little bit into existence. And that means we almost... We basically have it continuously uh, firing. That's awesome. So I extended this now. So we have um, 24 meters. We can probably see and we can down the drop stagger to half of what it was before. It might be impossible, but let us check. That's kind of cool, though. Okay, so we have, we have, you can see here, we got four missiles in the air like that, bam, 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 and they just swarming the poor thing. You can see it, uh, it has some damage done to it. And here we can see, they are pop, 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 disappearing getting into existence like that so it seems we can actually hold this type of fire rate pretty well and it even looks like we could possibly 
even up the fire rate. So now we have a much larger medium carrier container. So we couldn't do the both things we wanted to do, but it seems we actually can do this. And I think this is a pretty uh, efficient way to do it as well. Anyways, uh, let us uh, let us try and up this a little even faster. Now I think we kind of was a little bit too slow. Let's follow the missiles instead. See what they're up to. You can see we're swarming, we're swarming, we're swarming. Boom, boom, boom. And we can do this. I hope we can do this all day. <laughs> this is kind of cool. It takes uh, a long time, but it's really nice to, you know, when you actually get something, start working. Now it stops. Well, damn it. Let's see here. How much delay is there? Come on. Stop shooting. Start shooting again, I mean. Start shooting. Will you start shooting? No, you won't. And then we'll just have to get back here and check. Oh, I think maybe... Huh. Sometimes I just get confused on how this thing is like supposed to work. Now this is kind of already dead, so we need to repair it a little bit. Very nice. Okay. They're getting away like this. Pop it up, 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 up. And now we need to wait for them to reload. And will you not will you not like shoot again then? You're not there yet. Why don't you This is weird. They should be able to continue shooting, shouldn't they? Weird, it's like if you... I don't know! What is this? Because it worked when you had a slower, like, stagger. But now it seems like they're depleting the storage very quickly. Da -da -da, like that. Let me see here. I wanna, I wanna actually see if we can have a, like, super quick drop stagger. If we have zero drop, drop stagger like this, no, like super fast at least, what will happen? All right then, now we're ready for the next launch. We have the quickest drop stagger available. So there we have the missiles. They're swarming out, as is very expected. And hopefully now, in terms of like, within 20 seconds, we should be able to release another swarm, shouldn't we? And it should take longer than 20 seconds to get here. So I see the clock now. It should be like 10 seconds left, right? And come on. Somewhere around here, we should swarm again, shouldn't we? But it simply doesn't. It's like if we deplete the storage, We we're out of luck. You can see they're still reloaded here, just chilling. So basically, it seems that we have to have a drop stagger that's slow enough for it to be continuous. So let's uh, set it to 0 0.4. Like that. And I think we change that in time. Repair this thing. Okay. Let me be on the first missile. Okay. So now we're shooting. Bam, 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 bam. We can see. That's really nice. 
We need to we need to make the switch aim points a lot faster though. Because we're doing too much damage at the same spot. Anyways. And it's like if it's Ah oh, now this is too fast then. Then it should be like this, that it's basically reloaded here, right? Yeah. Hmm. So even slower then. Maybe 0 .0 0 0.5 we had before. And then we kind of got this effect. Now we need to wait for the next launch to just to take into effect, I think. Alright. Next launch is taking place here. So now our uh, swarms should be slow enough for them to be continuous. Even though we increase the chamber size, um, I think the huge missile has to be really long, like the death stick we did in our first <laughs> trying to kill every any target with one missile video. I think we need that kind of death stick to kind of have a continuous swarm of medium missiles, it seems. It's really weird, it's like when, if it depletes the storage, it's like, oh no, you already fired them. But if you are kind of still reloading, when you're firing at the enemy, it's like, ah, oh, now you can still fire more, that's okay. Definitely okay. So we can see here. This is doing this is launching missiles to the very end. And as you can see here. Or can we see it here? Yeah, you see they disappear again. They just spawn and they disappear. And that most likely means that we actually have a continuous system. I think. <laughs> uh, I'm, oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna save this thing, you know? I'm gonna change the name of it too, but... We can we can outfit this with different types of systems, but um, I think we did enough cool testing for like one day. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's just watch the damage of this thing. And uh, we can do some different loadouts with like EMP or like uh, frag and stuff like that, but um, it seems that we basically solved how to make the continuously firing system going on here. And it's doing a lot of damage. It really is. It's hard to defend against this type of setup too. Well. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, well, maybe you'll do some more testing, and maybe you already know why uh, it seems to be the case that you can't deplete the storage to be able to be continuous. Who knows? In any case, thanks a lot for watching. This is your host, Jim Odesim, and I'm signing out. So, uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.